my god. That was intense. Oh, oh. boy. All right, I so berserk. like I said, everybody, uh, in a week you'll be seeing this, uh, but this is the Platinum Watch social session, and this is going to be fucking recorded and not streamed because my internet sucks and I'm tired. Ooh. This Impressive. is this is this is non-stream Walker. This is unadulterated Walker. This is Walker when he's really After tired. This hours. Because it's fucking midnight where I'm at, and I realize Same. that uh, everyone else probably has work tomorrow, so we'll try and keep this brief. I don't either. Me, same. I'm unemployed. Uh, nah, 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 uh, but tomorrow, Ava just wants fucking answers. I, I do have to tell you, today is a holy holiday on this April 20th. After dark. I do have uh, to say yeah. that as as this being such a such a, a commemorative. Oh day. yes, of course, the most sacred of days. Which was yes, pretty I hope late. You left no. out your edible fuck off. and, 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 fuck and, and off. hot milk for Snoop Dogg. I and he's gonna come so and bless much. your house with nice blood. This is you know? why I have problems with you, John. This is why. I love it that John specifically, not any of us. Uh, hey, 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 John, exactly. John. Yeah. I mean, no, it's it's not just blessing your house with, with Snoop Dogg. I mean, you gotta oh, you gotta I'm realize sure as well. Willie the Nelson. the the on 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 a day such as this with magic flowing through the air, you gotta open your dank namacon. Dank namacon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll take a hit to that. Let's go. <laughs> so I I think the entire time Avox just like, can someone fucking tell me what happened with Rita? Can like, I roll to yeah, we'll we'll, how we'll he's changed. as 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 you all walk to the surface, I'll say that people can talk about it and explain it to you. That way, I get a chance to kind of look over my notes while y'all discuss. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Basically, you went away and her ghost took over and fought beside us for a little while. And she said so, something about the way you died. So she is dead. Yeah, she said something about a Logan guy. Logan. Not trusting him. Yeah, don't trust oh. Logan. Who's she scared Logan? me. You see Avok just have this luck. Don't trust him. Who's Logan? He was our team's arcanist. I guess. And you Not see just Avok just... Did he... What did he do? You don't remember. A A Avox is just infuriated. Okay, calm down. We have enough angry people here. Yeah. Did he... Everyone is angry except for me. Shut up, Rando. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm so tired. If he betrayed us... Well, I, I swear... When we get back to the Platinum City, we'll talk to Gareth. Janice needs to do some fucking scrying so I can kill his ass if he did this. Alright. That's all good and well. But you're not gonna do that overnight. So I say we find a good pub, brothel, whatever have you. I don't know your interests, lads. And we kick back, cause we just stopped a fucking Tarrasque coming back. That is true. Oh, drinks. Okay. And on, 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 on that note, because because John did ask the question, and I want to fucking do this because I, I it's enjoyable to me. Uh, as you're all walking back through the tunnels, uh, and you make it back to where you originally saw the eye of the Tarask, it it's still glowing, but you see a Ziara standing there screaming into like a, a compass. <laughs> well, where do I put the knife then? And Janice and Janice is just like. Look, I've explained it multiple times. What you need to do is in, is insert the blade into the ocular cavity. Just it's a shot. big fucking eye, Janice. <laughs> <I love that. laughs> and he's like, he's like, look, okay. Do you see a tear duct? I, I'm not gonna say it's a big fucking eye for the third goddamn time. Where do I put the nut? Just stick it in the eye, for fuck's sake, you oh anatomically God. challenged bitch! Malcolm, it's, <laughs> Malcolm, it's us in three years. <laughs> Malcolm just starts fucking erupting in laughter after Max says that. He can't. A as, 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 as she says this, he jams the. She, you watch, she jams the dagger into its eye, and you watch as sickly green energy, darker than that of the eye, begins to course over it. And it begins to flicker and fade and turn black and purple and then just nothing. 
as she pulls the dagger out of this now inky white and gray eye that is just like kind of like a little little bit of a little bit of dead tarasque gunk just kind of going on the floor oh delicious and she's just like and she just kind of like wipes off the dagger on like the stone wall Avok is going to run up to Zia and look at what she was using to communicate to Janice and shout into it I need you to scry on Logan oh, where is that fuck God. and, and as, as you scream know? into it uh, Janice goes I still don't know who you are! Go away! <laughs> it's Avok! I'm the guy that stole that gender swapping potion that one time from your lab! Oh. You're going to have to be more specific again! Damn it! <laughs> and, and, and you watch as the line just disconnects as ZR slams it shut and she looks at Avok and she goes, Avok? Inside voices. <laughs> I mean, technically, aren't we in nature, and nature is on the outside? And she, she she reaches for your spectral form, and her hands just kind of go through you, and she's like... Mm. <laughs> Can't strangle me this time. And then she goes... Fair. However... And she reaches into her bag, pull like pulls out a small poultice. Oh, no. You watch her spin her fingers through it a little bit. Marks her forehead and fucking headbutts you. Yes. And it's solid. Damn it. And she looks at you and she goes, Yeah, yeah. Not not so fucking funny now, is it? It's kinda funny. I love her so much. I'll be right back. And she goes and she just looks at Avok and she goes, Clean yourself off, spirit boy. And she just walks out. Hey. And she, and she and she looks at she looks at Rando uh, when he's like, "Can I learn that?" And she just goes, "No," and just leaves. Okay. So you have to be at least be seven feet tall to do that. You must be this tall to ride this potion. <laughs> how tall? How tall is Zala? Uh, she's she's about Rando's height. Yeah. Ah, shit. Okay, so let, must us, be, let us rephrase it then. You don't have to. Can't be a little I, bitch. I, I put my hand above Maxine's head. You must be this badass sure. to do that. Um. Aww. On on that note, on that note, uh, the party exits the the Temple of the Raven Queen and the catacombs, and they find themselves in the early light of morning. <clears throat> no. As light begins to slowly crest over the hills, as the sun begins to rise. No. This is just a suggestion. I know we're all tired of shit. I know we're all beat to shit. I know. I'm good. I'm almost like I should have been a cleric. I don't get exhausted. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, princesses, whatever. Never no. Just to talk the morning after or the night before. No, Maxine, I literally don't need sleep. I, okay, I'm okay. It, it, you guys let, like, okay, so you guys s took your rest in the afternoon of the previous day. At nighttime, y'all yeah. left and went to the temple. And did all this nighttime shenanigans. It's morning. It's now. morning. So Plus, I only need four hours of sleep. I don't care, Rando, but that's besides the point. My suggestion: we've got a little bit of time to cool down. And look, I've worked with a lot of people, but I think that it's time that someone besides Malcolm gets to say at the. A lean estate. What say you guys? It's big. Free drink. Wait, you, 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 you realize that is a couple days ride from here, right? It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> we can we do it the time skip. The oh, I haven't been there in forever. I, oh, Maxine. Yeah, I you know serious? you didn't take care of my azaleas, did you? No, you, I right up until the day they took me. Ass. I was watering those azaleas when they arrested <laughs> me. <laughs> I fucking doubt it. I, I imagine like he's just watering the flowers and then they like walk up to like Malcolm Blackmore. He's like, "Come on, you fucking take me!" <laughs> I was like, "Let me finish watering, guys, guys, guys. You come and take me. I serve my nickel." <laughs> I imagine Malcolm's like. In his full armor with like a pink flat, like gardening apron, and they show him. <laughs> He's like still like his usual edgy self. No. You come and take I me, know. I serve my nickel. I know that it's a couple so days. Children. I know it's a couple days away, 
but it gives us time to recharge because I don't know if you've ever been to an Aline party. Besides Malcolm, I fucking doubt it, because you never were on the cast lists. But I say we throw a big shindig and, you know, relax. You have a state? Where is it? It's in Platinum City. It's pretty big. I won it when I won Championship of Cord. <coughs> uh, to answer your question, Hawk, oh, yes, you can. Sorry, I didn't have dressed I'll tell you what. It's massive. Uh, I've got a full staff of ser servants. Uh, rooms enough for everyone to stay and their moms. Although, you, we you can hope my dad's kinda, not there. You see Avok light up, like... I just want to get to go Arcana. home. Uh, to, to, to move forward though, um, yeah. so while you're all discussing this, um, you are approached by, uh, nice, uh, the good old, uh, <laughs> father from before, uh, now no longer in his little friar robes, he is now wearing full plate mail. Hello. As sure he, enough, as, as he, too. as he walks forward and Ziara is talking to him and it's just like, yeah, so you know they they uh they did okay. And he's like, mm, well, you know, the gods do look out for us. And she goes, nah. And she goes, so, you uh live here now? And he goes, yes. It's um it's a peaceful living. It's quiet and honest. And she goes, hmm. That yeah, it suits you. She looks like a little soft talking to this guy and he's just like you haven't changed a bit except i do like the way you're doing your hair now it's it's lovely and she goes ah, it's, a, it's nothing special it's just i'm gonna barf the way it goes and he goes hmm. he looks over at y'all and he goes ah oh, it's good to see you <laughs> and he looks at you and he goes are you enjoying the gauntlet oh oh this gauntlet is probably the best thing I've ever had. Besides, you know, my massive ass sword, but... Well, so... I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it. It belonged to a dear friend of mine. Really? I, I was wondering who might have had this before me. Hmm. It, well... it means a lot that I'm possessing it now. Hmm. And she's Not... gonna... He, he, he looks at you and he goes, not yet. The fuck does that mean? No. And as you oh. say that, Ziara goes, it means not yet. <laughs> uh, Walker, just to clarify, were there undead attacking the top of the city? Oh, yeah. Uh, Avox is going to put his hand in front of his face and just, like, hide himself and pretend that he's not a, a, just blatantly undead in the middle of the city. Uh, the, 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 pal the, the paladin looks at you and he goes, Hello. I'm not here. I I can see you. The curse of being eight feet tall and undead. No, he can't see you. You're a master of stealth. Oh shit. And he looks at you and he goes, <laughs> No, I. And he looks at you and he goes, Mr. Gilder, while I appreciate the humor, I believe it is unnecessary. Your friend yeah. is not feasting on the skulls of the innocent, nor is he bathing in the blood, so I can yet, simply assume that he is not a flesh-eating corpse or a shambling skeleton with intentions of doom. Better. He's an ally of Platinum Watch. We never found his body, did we? An agent, in fact, if you could believe that. And he looks yeah. at, at Awok and he goes, Oh, I could believe that. Do and I he... recognize him? Like, did my team run into him when we were in the city? Make a history check. Okay. Oh shit, that's a bad roll. And I got a nat twenty for the Arcana roll, by the way, earlier. Uh, nothing on the badge has changed. <laughs> uh, that's a six. Yeah, you have no idea who the fuck this guy is. Okay. But if you'd like to make a religion check. Okay. Or if anyone would like to make a religion. Can check. I make a religion check? Yes. Okay, now yeah. that's the good. You know, you know what, Brad? No, you can't. You've made your religion checks for the evening. That's fair. No, I'm just kidding. You could totally fucking do it. Oh, yay. Uh, 20 total. Uh, 17. 
I don't think Mimic would. Okay. Merrick's not going to do it? You know what? Yeah, he will. I got a 17 on my own. Well, that didn't do much. <laughs> Rando ain't going to do it because if you think about it, religion. What do you know right? about religion? Exactly! You're following a night goddess. Night god. God. god my bad. Sorry. Oh, plus oh, one. I'm Fantastic. Bad. I was just a well-lived boy. Twelve. Oh, 20. okay. Um, Malcolm wasn't paying attention. He was. Malcolm doesn't care. Uh, Malcolm's just like, oh, gods. <laughs> He's busy yeah, getting annoyed because Maxine's like still leading Percy outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Malcolm. Like, Malcolm. Malcolm's furious, out. man. He's so peeved that Percy lived. He was he was gonna he was gonna sleep happy the night knowing that Asmodeus was gonna torture his ass. Malcolm's brutal. To answer to answer your question, uh Avok and Maxine, you both recognize uh it's very faint and it's really hard to see, but on the underside of his left gauntlet you notice the symbol of the sun. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, and you, what'd you say your roll was, Brett? 17. Plus... That's it. Okay, it so both, both Hawk and... Seven. So both Hawk and, and you were both rolled 17s. Um, you being, I guess, more... A little, well, trap has been around the block, so... Uh, both of you recognize it as the symbol of Paylor. Yep. Oh, no. Is this guy old? No. Nah. He is looks he to like... be in like his his fifties or his his late to early fifties. Okay. Cool. You're your Paylor? Hmm. A Avon's just really blunt, like. He looks you. You're know goes... Of course, the sun guard are always here to protect the faithful. Merrick gets very <laughs> quiet. What? Uh, Maxine, like, she's not gonna say anything, but she's just gonna reach out and put a hand on Merrick's back. Like, uh, kind of like an easy, easy kind of thing. So, mm. have you heard of a man named Colin? And he, and he smiles, and he's like, who hasn't? Oh. Yeah, I got all of that. And he, he looks at you and he goes, You know, for someone who is so young, you've been through a lot, Merrick. More so than anyone should have. But you have a destiny that will serve you greatly. And he looks at the symbol that you have woven into your bandages, and he goes, And that will serve you better than anything else. Thank you. For even if you hide it under the shadows of the light of the moon, the moon is merely just reflected light of the sun. Two sides of the same coin. And he smiles and he goes, now, I have to be off. I must report to Lord Shremla, and I believe that Ziara, you are supposed to as well. And she goes, uh, oh, uh, yeah, shit. And she looks over and she goes, uh, and she looks over at Maxine and is like, no. What? And she looks what? over at, at uh, Trap It and uh, America. She goes, uh, you two, come on. Let's go. What? The what? fuck? The fuck? Mm. And she looks at you and she goes, look, uh, I love your champion thing. Really do. Um, you're not great at politics. I can be. And she looks over at Malcolm. She's like, I'd rather bring him than you. <laughs> Now she's talking some sense. And she looks at you and she goes, Oh, you're still not invited. Great. <laughs> so you're bringing me. Yeah, she's bringing uh, American and uh, Trapper. She goes, 
Merrick, oh, okay. you're an example of what people expect Platinum Watch to be, and Trap It, you're... Trap It. Yep. And just walks off! <laughs> you Merrick know, I'm not even gonna argue that. I don't particularly like talking to people. I so mean... at this point, uh, Avok, you kind of bamf off with Merrick and Trap It. Um, yeah, and I was gonna other... say that. Uh, As we're walking away, uh, Merrick leans into Trap It. She does know I have zero diplomacy, right? I think you're there just to look just pretty. Just to look like a soldier? Yes, yes. So, so am I, Candy. Pretty. Yes, okay. exactly. Look pretty. I can't. Hey, don't worry. That's what Rio said I was. <laughs> um, oh, at this point, relationship was vastly different. Uh, she, she does pinch down her earring and she goes, uh, Hey, real quick, uh, go ahead and gather the horses and stuff and get everything ready. We need to leave once this is over. What you talking to her earring for? She, 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 she's, she's talking to Maxine and... and, and, and oh. Avok has no idea. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, Mayok's going to tell Avok about the uh, upgrades they've gone over the past 30 years. Oh, yeah, um, as, as, as you all... Up for that. As you all make it into the, the courtroom of this lord and stroll down the, the, the carpet, uh, you see a high elven man with kind of like a little chin beard... Um, and these kind of not long but pretty uh, long sideburns and he's got his hair slicked back it's about shoulder length blonde on it parts down uh, his it, well it's not shoulder length it's uh, I guess small the back goes down uh, he, his, his sideburns go down the, the, the front and the sides and they go down uh, about to his waist whereas the, the, the hair on the back goes down more to the small of his back and he uh, looks across there and he goes Ah, oh, fuck, I have to think about a voice for this guy. Ew, hope he's not my dad. Irish. No, I've, I've, I've got... Scottish. I've got something in mind. Um, uh, but as he opens his mouth to speak, I'm going to go ahead and buy myself some time. Uh, you, you watch as the lady in the room looks over you all, and she is a uh, high elven woman as well, but she has dark black hair and just kind of... Uh, a very hawk, a very hawk-like nose, and she like, I mean, like, not like, you know what I mean? It's 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 a bit, yeah, kind of beaky. She's like, who do you think you are, coming in here and approaching the court of Lord Sharamla and myself, Lady Rachel? And Lord Sharamla waves his hand and he goes, Mawage. <laughs> Maui. <Mary. laughs> it was beautiful. No, he 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 looks yawn and goes. Ah, oh God, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of how to do this. One. Okay, got it. I got it. Got it. No, no, there is no need for such hostilities. I am Lord Harold Sharamla. No. Yes. No. What? Uh, don't worry, John and John and Brett know. Oh. Wait, do I? He said Lord Harold Sharambla. Oh, fuck off! And then he sits there on his throne and he goes, Uh, yes, I am, uh, Harold, and I am, uh, the Lord of the Boneyard. With, oh, uh, I fucking hate this already. With what the can boys. I assist you? Yeah, I'm Lord of the Boneyard, you say. <laughs> the God. strange title. Uh, well, you're you're you're, yeah, you're not there. I know. Oh shit! Uh, I'm squirming as a character, as a person. As a person. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, so so Contest Ziara. Not my favorite character. Ziara looks at uh, him and goes, "I, I, I'm sorry, man. I cannot." And he goes, "I'm, I, I beg your pardon." And she goes, "Look, it, it's, it's nothing against you. It's just." You look so regal, and then the voice, and he's like, "What's wrong with my voice? It's oh, beautiful." What that implies that you're already so regal and bearing that the voice is just so much more regal. And she it goes, "Blows her mind." And she goes, "Yeah, that's really not what I." And then the paladin like elbows her. And she goes, uh, "I mean, yeah." <laughs> I'm gonna roll deception. Yeah, it's totally, mm, just. <laughs> Mine. Yep. All right, I got a, tw I got a twenty-five on. This yeah, episode. he has no fucking clue. He believes you. And he goes, 
Well, finally, someone with taste and decorum. Not something I find in my courts these days. Barf. And he goes, with, with what may that. I assist you? And she goes, uh, yeah, it's, um, I am Ziara Helenadel of Platinum Watch. I am one of the founding... He's like, oh, I know, I know, I know, yes. Continue, sorry. She goes, yeah. And, uh, we went ahead and took care of the cult of Mirkul, um, as per your request. Uh, I just have one question for you, if I may. And he goes, of course, what, what, what could you possibly ask? And she goes... Do you know that your wife's a traitor? And the room goes silent. And he goes, I... What? And Rachel goes, this is outrageous! You you march in here like you own the place, then you sling accusations. She goes, um... Ni nice, nice little theatrics, but um, first off, I'm one of the founding members of Platinum Watch. I do own this place. Second off, the cult made it in here, undetected, out of a city that's been guarded for centuries by some of the most peerless and vigilant guardsmen. They may not be the brightest, but at least they have eyes and a brain to report. And yet, a cult of over seven dozen individuals of a death-worshipping cult find their way into your city, into the catacombs, which, by the way is not public knowledge outside of Platinum Watch, the Nobles, and, oh, I don't know, the Guard. So let me ask you this real quick before I get more fed up with talking to you people. Do you want to come quietly, or do you want me to take your knees? And Rachel tries to run. Oh, Avok is going to attempt to possess her if she's going to do that. How how fast can you possess? Because she's got she, like the minute she bolts, Ziara's bow is out. Oh, then Ziara's got this. There's no way I can beat her arrow. Um, can I just use uh, Misty Step to disappear? To to disappear in like thirty feet, like just like punch her in the face and be like, "Yeah, I helped, guy. <laughs> Trap it for the win." I mean, how far away is she from us? Because Avok's got forty feet movement. Uh, she's about fifty feet out. I'll just gonna just. Do that just to instantly pop in front of her, just scared of shit out of her and grapple her. Uh, as she tries to run, uh, and, and Trap it pops out in front of her and scares her, she uh, stumbles back, and Ziara's uh, arrow misses and snags her in the shoulder instead. And uh, she, she, she gets floored and she's sitting there, and she's like, I, what? You? And Ziara's just like, yeah, uh, and just like punches her right in the face, and she gets knocked out. She's like, I. Mm. Okay, and this and Lord alive than dead. Lord Harold is just like, what is the meaning of you? You, you people are barbarians. She goes, yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. You, <laughs> you didn't know, so I'm gonna let this slide this time. But um, I'll just say this for you, uh, for all of you. She says she projects and looks over at the guard. She's like, Platinum Watch isn't just a peacekeeping organization. We are inquisitors. We will ferret out any wrongdoing, and we will punish the wicked. And she stares at Lord Harold and just goes, let this be a lesson. And she grabs his wife and drags her out. So have a nice day, sir. <laughs> it was a pleasure, my lady. As, as a fucking ghost is in his courtroom now, just like, hey, you know, man, a yeah, was a peace. Um, by the way, also, we took care of the undead. They're all gone. Lord Harold, have you a genie? Like Would you like to buy a genie? Avok flexes his pecs. And he looks so, like, sad. He's just like, I was just... You... So... Times in, you can wish for a new wife. <laughs> no! You guys are awful. Why would you do this to and, and And he's just like, I... Leave... <laughs> <laughs> and and y'all just like book it out of there. You're like, uh, okay. I like the fact that I wasn't allowed to go on that because you knew, as bread, I would be compelled to attack Harold. Oh, come on! Sure. I would have attacked Harold. I would have had a I would have. talking uh, some serious bogus about him. I hope Harold would have recognized the Blackmore name. 
Oh, he probably oh, would have. Absolutely. That would have been great. Uh, that would have been pretty good. Uh, on that note, I'm going to take y'all back to the Platinum City so we can uh, actually get uh, to the fun part. Uh, of... Does that does... mean we heal? Yeah, yeah you all are back up to full hit points. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Uh, yeah. I, I, I just want to point out, I've been low-key stressing the entire time leading up to this about not being able to heal, <laughs> and it wasn't a problem. Nope. At least not this time. I shot two, uh, two hits. I got hit by the mirror also. I forgot about that. Yeah, and Percy uh, is... As you all, like... Just full... Dis as you lead Percy into the Platinum City, like, in on in your horses and in, in the carriage, he is star-eyed, like a little kid. He is loving this. Oh, that, yeah, reminds me. Fucking Taurus. Percival. He's like, oh, yes, those are those are wonderful arches, and oh, that aqueduct is beautiful. <laughs> He's just like losing his mind at just the architecture of oh, the entire the city. Malcolm is yeah. like heavy sighing really hard uh, the entire time. You should see the architecture at the uh, Cord Estate, which of course you're invited to. Avok is going to sit next to Malcolm for a second. Yeah. You know, the kids say the kid brought you back. You owe him at least a thank you. Would have cut it with a knife, your comment. Oh, the. Trap it? No. No, I... Rando. <laughs> oh, I, you, you know I get the names confused sometimes. Yeah. No, listen, I, I'll talk with the kid when I can. I've just been putting it off. My studies have been, you know. Just. I all I ask is a little respect. And to maybe be a bit more. To use his name, not use that uh, word, knife you. Oh well. You got any fancy oh, uh, names for Goliaths? Yeah, they called him Clubfoot, and, um... <laughs> and, 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 I do have big In Richard's schools, we called them, we called them Great Sorcerers, because some of them have really good personalities, but they're not very bright. No. Could never not. make a good wizard. No. No, no, you're absolutely right. We like hitting things. Can you, can you turn mental. that down a little bit? Who's that? Sorry, I was talking to my uh, my buddy. Thank you. Yeah, I hate you too. Question, uh, can the rest of us hear this exchange? Um, hey, Avox not being subtle. Yeah, no. If you want to hear it, you can hear it. I mean, he's he's not being subtle about it. Ah, uh, Malcolm, you in one sentence managed to insult me twice. Record for you. Listen, I couldn't I couldn't hear you that quite well there. I'm sorry said, ah, Malcolm, in one sentence you managed to insult me twice. New I'm not trying to start a fight. You did good. Crap. Please. I, I, uh, I, I wasn't I'm, saying anything about elves there. I'm, I'm not trying to start a fight here. I'm, I'm not trying to start a fight. I just want you to be aware of that. This team has your back. And I any have team... this team's back. So maybe you should treat them with a little more respect and not use such slurs on them. That's all I'm saying. I'll think on it. And as as Dude. you say, I'll think on it, uh, Percy chimes in. He's like, you should probably do that, you know, you... Thinking on it is putting it to memory is committing it, de jackass. Get out of my conversation. <laughs> Avok pats you on the back. You see, good old-fashioned insults. You didn't need any slows that time. I'm proud of you. You're making progress. Whatever you say, Phallison. <laughs> Phallison. Travis, go that fucker's the... probably only got an associate's in magic tree. <laughs> nah, he 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 was calling you out in Goblin. Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah. oh I, I understand him. This. Yeah. Uh, Rando, that is a very very. You, you've never heard this word before, but you've heard similar words in common. Um... <laughs> oh, I'm so curious. Can you person? Can you um, can, like uh, message me directly what it says? Like, oh yeah, no, I'll I'll DM so you Malcolm's what it said. To actually, know five All extra right. languages. I forgot you're supposed to start with as many as you have as an intelligence bonus. So. Um, that, that's Pathfinder. Oh, that's not 5e? 
No. no. Oh shit, never mind. Yep. Right, but yeah, it's almost too let's move it along. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, 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 yeah. Uh so at this point. Never mind. <laughs> oh what, sorry? No, I was gonna ask Percy something. Oh, you can feel free to ask him something. Oh my god! So dear Percy, have you given a to your future? Well, um, I did some good things for Platinum Watch, and, um, I'm hoping that I will be able to study, uh, Arcana and Architecture in the, uh, the Platinum Watch headquarters, and perhaps contribute to, uh, the construction of new arcane devices that could, uh, perhaps make life more accommodating. The moment he says that, Maxine just kind of moves a little bit, bit away from him. Uh, so, you'll you'll have good company in that line of work. What but am I doing? Kinda... We'll put a good word for you with Janice. Uh, you I I. Yeah. Hey, if you if you want it that badly, there are a few people I could talk to. And he goes. <gasps> Oh, would you? And he, like, cl clasps your hands. He's like, oh, you're so wonderful. Thank you. Believe me, it's probably not out of kindness, but... He I'm... goes, well, that's a little hurtful. No, Percy, I, I do want you to succeed. Uh, it'll just be an interesting conversation for me. As well. He uh, looks at you and he goes, well, if it's anything painful, I wouldn't want you to go through the effort. I'll, I'll make it on my own. Uh, I mean, I can give you a few recommendations. I know a few of the founding members. Well, we'll he, he looks over at Avok immediately and he goes, I, that, but, yep. That's probably going to help you more. I just um, meant in the field that you're, oh, he, of course you'd love that. But... And Percy, if you wanted to go into the private sector, I do have connections at a few reputable colleges. I'd be willing to even pay your tuition. <gasps> College? Wow. I well, I hadn't thought of it yet. I'm a bit tucked away. The man isn't even educated. Damn, Travis. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this what? This is gonna become the most powerful NPC because of us. <laughs> Travis has a private fortune. If you think about it, it's all because of me. It oh, is. stop it! Don't give yourself the credit. Hush. I'm not wrong though. What? I. I guys. Mm, guys. Guys, later. We, 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 we do have a limited amount of time. It sounds yeah. like everybody's needing to go to bed. Um, so, I, I do want to keep this going, but I also realize that people have, have work and constraints. I keep going for a little bit longer. I can't do. Okay, I just, someone said it was close to 2 a.m. and I just wanted to... No, I, I just wanted to like make sure we weren't diddly dang too much. Oh, like... yeah, of course. Um... So at this point, uh, I'll give y'all some time uh, to before you before you have to report back. Um, Ziara tells you that uh, she she needs some time to go ahead and go and debrief uh, Gareth on what what kind of happened, and talk to a few people and get a few things set up for you guys so you can properly debrief and so that the members of Platinum Watch can kind of handle Avok and Percy's presence. Uh, so she tells you that uh, you're free to roam around the city for about an hour or two, uh, but to report back to HQ once that time is up. So currently, as it stands, uh, y'all can still do the party at the island at the uh, courthouse, uh, but that will have to be after your, your debrief. So you do have about two hours uh, in game to kind of wander around the city and do whatever you want. Malcolm's gonna commit to uh, doing whatever Maxine wants to do and spending time with her. So he comes to that agreement with her and however they do the fuck? Why are you being nice to me now? Well, it's been a long time and this is gonna be our first time off, so I wanted to catch up with you. For real. You've been a piss -wop the whole time. What? What's what? going on? What do you mean, what's going on? We'll talk this over. Fuck, what do you want to do? Because I don't particularly care. We've got like two hours, which isn't much time. Well, let's see what the others want to do and see if we want to tag along with any of them. Well, well, go ahead. I was thinking about heading up to the Order of the Ghost Layers and seeing if I can get some 
provisions from my fellow blood hunters, like some more health potions, some alchemy fire. That's actually what I was thinking. Did you call them ghost hunters? Ghost slayers. slayers? Yeah, they're fascinated with death. Some of the stronger members can actually become what you are if they're wounded too much. Hey, I, I want to learn that trick, except in the opposite. Yeah, I was thinking we might be able to ask them if they have any ways of reversing you, get you back to your physical form. That would be cool. I mean, I also want to point out that... I also want to point out that 30 years ago, I had a commission, I think, for a weapon going on that I never picked up. <laughs> so there might be a commission going on for a weapon that I ordered that hasn't been filled. <laughs> So if Avok wants to go pick up his weapon, um, he can I go... Mean, it's, it's going to be useless to me right now, so... I'm just saying, whatever. he can he can go with someone if he wants to go pick it up. But I, I'm more interested in this... Way. Yeah, I'm more interested in this ghost there thing right now, because they, they might need me there to, you know, examine. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, you want come along? Yeah! Um... So I was thinking about actually going shopping for scrolls. Shopping for what? Scrolls. Uh, just... Magic scrolls. Magic uh, stuff. Well, perfect. Percy I looks actually at... need to get some scrolls too, so this will be good. Uh, Percy looks uh, across the group and goes, Well, um, this sounds great, uh, but I actually wanted to check out um, either the, the trade houses or the bazaar. I, I heard that they have a wide selection of different things from all around, and in the trade houses they actually have um, guilds that sponsor artisan craft works, and I want to kind of see what they have to offer. The so I'll be, cool. I'll be over there, but I... Mm, and he looks over across the room and he goes, uh, mm, Rando. <laughs> he, he's AFK. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. Those don't two. Be naive. He, uh, he, he's like, I just, um, I mean, I, I look like me, so, um. Yeah. I may need someone to accompany me. Not uh, quite sure. I'm not doing anything else. Avok. Yeah. You go with him. Sounds like a plan. The ghost and the bug pair, uh, bug bear walking through the streets. Nothing bad can happen. Nothing, um, nothing bad can happen. Bad? Obviously, I'm kidding. Oh. If you really need someone to walk with, if I can do that. I'm not really interested in magic scrolls and what have you. That sounds okay. fun. We'll we can catch up later then, Maxine. You mm. two and Avar come with me then. Uh... I don't go with your mother. Do you have no issue with this, Malcolm? Yeah, we can catch up later. So, uh... First, uh, Percy takes y'all over to the bazaar. So, we'll just drag the people over there. Yay! What a bizarre adventure! Yeah. Um, so the other... So, so Trappet and Malcolm are going over to get Magic Scrolls, and Merrick and Avok are going to Ghost Slayers? Yeah. Uh, where are you guys going to be looking for Magic Scrolls? I was going to see if I have, like, any knowledge of the area enough to know some of the good shops. Mm. Or, uh, well, well... Uh, Malcolm, well, you, Avok... you, you remember right. that uh, a good place to go last time was... Uh, the Looking Glass, but they specialize more in divination magics. Um, right. As for you, Trappet, you, you've heard uh, about the Shack of Wonder and the Spire. Uh, the Spire is said to have a collection of many different magics, um, ranging from, from various types and different schools. Uh, it's a very kind of scholarly establishment, but it is also exceptionally pricey. Uh, the Shack of Wonder, you've heard about, has peculiar odds and ends and various magical items that you wouldn't find anywhere else but that it is a little out of the way. Would Avok be able to recommend any place? I imagine he went shopping with Vita. The Shack of Wonder? <laughs> then, yeah, he recommends the Shack of Wonder. Uh, Malcolm, which of the locations would you prefer to get? Well, the spells I need are of general use, so um, the Shack of Wonder should have the essentials. I remember it being also a general store. As we can go there, there's always time to check out the other one. Like another day. Perhaps. Um. So y'all head over to the Shack of Wonder, and I'm actually gonna pick this up here because I, I this is my favorite uh, part. Give so y'all, y'all. Okay, sure thing. Sorry, uh, my cat's running. I just gotta get her before she wakes my roommate up. Uh. So. I'll... Ba, ba, ba. 
anyone in particular you're wanting to see while you're over at the uh, Ghost Slayer Order, Merrick? Uh, let me just bring up the uh, old doc. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. I have given you all weapons of terrible power <laughs> with these relationship sheets. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Is anyone in town that I know? Um, there will be if you go to the bazaar, which we'll do in a minute. <gasps> oh, um, shit! But yeah. as you arrive at the Shack of Wonder, uh, Malcolm, you do remember it being a bit of a general store when you were a kid? Um, and it used to hold, like, certain types of, uh, magic items and baubles, uh, but now it seems kind of dilapidated. Um, the, the building itself, uh, there's bars on the windows and door, uh, warding all across the building itself. It seems kind of uh, designed to, to keep people out. Um, but since it sounds like they're both AFK. Uh, I'm here. Who? Oh. Uh, you cut out on me a little bit. The last thing I heard was designed to keep and then it Was what? Out. The last thing I heard was you saying designed to keep people out and then it cut oh. out. It looks like it's designed to keep people out. Hello, Malcolm. This truly looks wondrous. Yeah, it's a pretty wacky place. Um, would you like to looks knock on the front door? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get no response. Can I do an arcana check to see if there's like a hidden door? Sure. <laughs> So as you kind of inspect the house and look over, uh, it's very arcane, very well arcanely warded. Uh, you can't really see where there would be a, a secondary entrance, um, but it seems like the door itself is is there, but it's not there. I pointed hmm. out to Malcolm. I think the door is an illusion, and Malcolm just sort of like sticks his hand into it a little more and tries to press against it. It's solid. See if, like, it's very solid. But it um, does open. Oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, as you push against the door and it opens, like it, it leans in and you watch as uh, purple torch sconces uh, erupt in the room as a little purple flame is there. And you see this this gnomish figure on the very far end of the desk, like kind of asleep on the desk itself. He's got his head down, so it's really kind of hard to, to see his appearance. Um, but he does have like this kind of like scraggly, wiry hair. Um, and a purple robe that seems kind of beaten up and kind of cruddy. Uh, and as the door creaks open and y'all are just standing at the threshold, the minute it knocks against the uh, wall, you hear like a bunch of bells go off. And it's like, <laughs> Who are you? How did you get in here? Platinum watch. We're here on uh, business, just looking to purchase supplies. Business? Purchase? Yes, yes, I can help you with that. No, it wasn't. It was for me. Hmm. We got it this time. And he scurries up to y'all. Uh, like he actually like hops over the desk and like kind of scurries, and his movements almost seem kind of very spider-like as he's running across the floor. And he gets over to you, and he's like, "Hmm." hmm. And he grabs Trapper by the arm and like pulls him down and like looks over his arm, looks over uh, his 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 hair, pulls out one of Trapper's hairs and then opens his eye and he's like, "Hmm, you look very nice." And then he takes the hair that he pulled out of your head and he kind of like eats it. He just sits there for a minute. Yum. He goes, "Hmm, you condition well." Well, it, I mean. You have to look this good. And he looks over at uh, Malcolm and goes, Hmm. 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 What? He gets the compliment that he conditions well, and I get the passive aggressive hmm. I'm sorry, I thought we were communicating in deep speech. <laughs> oh, oh, God. No, you. That, that level of arcana is deep and. And well above mine, sir, unfortunately. Oh, well, can't win them all. And he walks over and he goes, So, you were looking to, to buy. Mm, what do you want? 
Venom. Malcolm gestures to trap at first. Yeah. Well, I'm looking to see. I'm looking for something unusual, something that will really catch my eyes. <laughs> unusual, catch eyes. Yes, yes. I have things that can catch eyes. And he pulls out a spoon and he runs up to him. He's like, "This, this right here. Yes, it will take eyes." And then, and then you'll need this. And he runs over and he like pulls out like a little net and it's like a jar, but it has a net in it. He's like, "Here to keep them." <laughs> okay, perhaps the. You think this was not quite needed? I'm looking for something very interesting, something a little volatile, perhaps. <laughs> I can do volatile. He and he throws them in the glass shat and like the jar shatters against the wall, and you hear like the wailing of a few souls as it shatters. And he and he just and he takes the spoon and he goes, "I'll need this for soup later." And he sticks it in his back pocket and he runs over and he goes, "So, what do you need?" Want to destroy? Want to create? Want to do other things? Trapid just smiles and says, "Yes." I think I have what's this for you. And he runs over into the back room, and he's there for about a couple minutes, and he comes running back out with this scroll it has this kind of like turquoise wrap to it and it's sealed with wax and it has some barnacles actually encrusted across the 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 parchment itself and he goes here yes this this will be good for you All right. you said you said other this is this is very other <laughs> All right, can i inspect it to see what it is oh yeah of course what is it <laughs> Uh, it is a scroll, it seems, uh, of, of, it seems to be, like, a scroll of spell storing, but this seems to be more of a, a, a scroll that, that contains a creature. Hmm. Um, you can't tell what in nature, um, you seem to be able to tell from the basis of it. It is aquatic, um, and as you kind of tilt the scroll towards your, your, your eye as you're looking down into it. Uh, uh, you see a little hint of a tentacle move and then, like, suck back into the paper. And he goes, <laughs> He's very other! This definitely seems very other. So, tell me, my dear man. Tell me about this other. Well, you open the scroll, uh, tentacles come out, people have a good time or a bad time, <laughs> and, uh, well, I guess, um, they could die, or not, or they will. It's hard yeah, to think these days. Some very special interests. I would recommend putting that scroll down. Wait! And he comes running over to Malcolm. He goes, I do know you. Malcolm looks <laughs> back up and down and he's a member of the feelings mutual. He goes, yay. You are waiting for a man. He brought you... He brought you things, herbs, spices. They were bad, very bad. I made them better. Did you enjoy them? <laughs> oh my lord, is that you? My good friend. Oh God fucking my damn lord. it. It's I hate it. Years. I, hate it. I had not known you had taken up employment at this fine establishment. It's good to meet you again. Yes, I did very much enjoy you. Well, <laughs> listen, friend, I just recently come back into the city and I could use a friend like you to get me good halfling herb like that again. Oh my god. He goes, you want some right now? Oh, oh you oh. wouldn't. Trap it, are you ready oh. to, to know what it's like to <laughs> I swear to god. entering the ethereal realm? Are you ready to astrally project trap it? We're about to get we're about to I've get. I've been alive for nearly a minute. I'm always ready. <laughs> Fuck yes! Oh, crap, but I never thought you'd be so down on the level. So so he he runs into the back and he pulls out like a jar. Um a jar. Holy shit. And it's yeah. it's got this like glowing purple moss in it that seems to actually be moving around the jar. And he goes, It's a little tricky to make it stop moving. But it does wonders for the brain. Oh god. Most certainly. Some of my best research was done while... Well, well, let's not dilly-dally, shall we? Let's get the deep done. 
And you just watch him like pop the, the lid off the jar and he very carefully pulls a dagger out and he sticks it slowly in the jar. And then he nicks some of the moss and you hear the moss actually shriek a little bit and he goes, Shut up! And he closes the jar and he goes, Okay, I think we're good. And then it starts like thrashing out against the jar. He's like, Oh, oh it's a wily one. He's trying to like he's trying to like latch the jar back down. He finally gets it and he grabs the piece that he lopped off and it's trying to like squirm and move and he just like takes that he sets it down on the table, grabs a hammer, smashes it, and it just stopped moving, and it's like this kind of like flat, glowing purple paste. And he goes, Okay. I think we're good. And he takes the dagger and he starts chopping it up into lines and like smoothing it out and getting it ready, and he goes, You you've done this before, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I don't know how to do that statement. Is uh, this specific drug? Yeah, sure, you could roll for it. God, God damn it. breaking bad D and D. What are, what are we rolling for here? I mean, Malcolm, you've never Walker. seen anything like this before. Walker, I wasted oh, a net twenty. Malcolm, roll. Malcolm, Malcolm, what? Roll his cool guy to bullshit. He knows what he's doing. Uh, what'd you say? I wasted a net twenty on this roll. So you absolutely know what this is. Drugs. This is this is uh, what is known as umber moss. It is from the Feywild. It is a living moss that is bioluminescent um, and has uh, for 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 creatures of the Feywild, it it, it um, has restorative properties and can even uh, affect them, giving them uh, some degree of bioluminescence themselves if consumed Ooh. over time. Um, for mortals, uh, it. It, it it enhances your the the rate at which your neural pathways fire, oh. um, and also causes very vivid hallucinations. Hell yeah! Rapid nudges, um, Malcolm. Uh, you know what this is lad. No, it looks like some very fine halfling herb, though. I mean, it's animated. Moss. moss. Oh, Under that's moss that from the Feywild. Oh, from oh, that Feywild stuff is powerful. I don't mess with that stuff. I have my own limits. And you watch as like as you say this, Balthier just uh the the, the gnome just goes. <coughs> oh god, what? he snorts it. <laughs> oh god. And you watch as his eyes as you watch as his eyes begin to like flicker, um, and then they're now like glowing purple. And he's like, so. Who's next? I motion for Malcolm. Are you guys fucking doing this right now? Malcolm, Malcolm, like, has a yikes hard pass kind of look yeah. in his eyes, but at the same time, like, he, like, man, man, hallucinating would be fucking great. But he knows how much shit he'd get from Maxine if she saw him hallucinating. So he, he, like, shakes his head and he goes, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I draw the line at halfling E, but if, if you... That Feywild stuff really messes with your brain. I can't. Not he, go, he, go, he goes, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. He looks at Trapper and he'll go, he goes, we'll get him one for the road. Actually, can you make mine for the road as well? I am on duty. Yeah. Okay. And you see him, like, actually wave his hand over it. And he, as, these, as he waves his hand over it, it condenses into a, almost a solid pill-like form. And he puts them in like a little tiny metal tin and closes it and he hands it to you and goes, Here! A sampler! If you want more, you know where to find me. Uh, thank you, lad. Oh, wait! Not appreciatively. And, he, and he looks at you and goes, The scroll! You still have to pay! Oh, of course, of course. How much is the scroll? 450 gold! Can I try to do a little charisma check to get in the lower? Oh yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, you can absolutely try that. All right, time to finagle. Uh, da, 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 da. Will it be persuasion? Yeah. Or uh, deception. Uh, or performance or intimidation. Either any charisma. Yeah. You just gotta oh, say yeah, describe what you're doing. Alright, so trap it. Oh. Looks over to scroll again. Yeah. Oh wait, wait I, ro I rolled a um a twenty two by the way. Mm -hmm. You know, he looks over to scroll again. And he goes, "You know, my friend, I do plan on buying a few more items from you." You? 
Yes, yes. I, I have an itch to spin. Perhaps you could block out a deal, depending on what else I grab. Like a bundle? I can yes. bundle things! Yes, like a bundle. Do you have any other fun spell scrolls, me and my friend? Yes! And he runs off and he comes back with three more spell scrolls. Um, one has like a bamboo shoot in the middle and it seems to be wrapped around uh, in, in like kind of this parchment you've never seen before. Trap it, you actually are familiar with it though. It is um, rice parchment from the former Empire of Xing. Hmm. Uh, this type of scroll you are not familiar with though. Uh, he also has another scroll which uh, is uh, Malcolm, you, you more recognize as... Uh, more of a uh, infernal scroll. It is uh, kind Ooh. of this ancient parchment, uh, presumably human skin, uh, wrapped Ooh. in in uh, chains and sealed with a lock uh, that ha bears the symbol of Asmodeus. Oh, Malcolm's all over it. He's inspecting it hard. And he has a final scroll, uh, which is uh, got, uh, which is a very light color, kind of a light ivory parchment wrapped in a very fine silk ribbon and sealed with a crystal. I'm going to inspect okay. the one with the crystal. Uh, how are you going to inspect it? Arcana? Okay, go for or, it. Okay. Uh, what's the 16 get me? Uh, this is a scroll of prophecy. Very strong divination magics. And what can also check on the bamboo one? Oh yeah, of course. Ooh, um, fifteen. Uh, this is known as a uh, ninshu scroll. It is a form of nature magic practiced by warriors of the Shing Empire who were masters of stealth and cunning, who used the natural magics uh, as a weapon, as an extension of themselves. Versus the way druids use it, where they use it to harness nature's power, they used it as finite and powerful instruments of destruction. Okay. And Malcolm, did you want to inspect the Asmodeus one? Yeah. I mean, I guess I'll inspect well, but yeah. Uh, you want Arcana to inspect the scrolls? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh! It's it, two it, ones in a row. It, it's it's it looks super nice. Like it's a super great Asmodeus scroll. You're all over. It. You don't care what it does. You just want it. How I much does it cost? That one. He he looks over. Uh, he's like, you look at the bundle. You want the bundle? Sure. Uh, I'll pitch in my portion towards the scroll. Great. And he looks him over and he goes, for this one, and this one, uh, that one, and. Uh, <laughs> You see he's, like, doing math very furiously in his head, and he goes... And you see his, like, eyes flicker purple again, and you see he's, like, looking at something, and he's like... Oh. He's, like, looking at something, and he kind of, like, walks around the room for a minute as if he's following something around. And he looks back at you and goes... Uh, uh, 600 gold? For the lot? Yes? Traffic, traffic quickly, um... Puts the uh, the gold on the table. He he quickly runs over, reaches in, grabs a, a, a coin, bites it, and he goes. Seems legit. Throws it back in the bag, runs uh, back behind the counter, tosses it into like uh, you, uh, you hear a safe go thunk, slam in the the thing crank and turn, and he comes back out. He goes, well, better doing business with you. Uh, you always know where to find me. We have many more stocks like the one I just gave you, and um. Oh, yes! Get out! Perfect. I'll just get a 150 back from you later for the Asmodeus scroll. Sounds good. Uh, on that uh, note, we are going to go over to uh, Zach, Percy, and uh, uh, Bread. Oh, is, All right. is, is he with us? Percy? Apparently. No. Uh, Me, apparently. You. Yeah. Weren't you going to the ghost thing? I thought that was American uh, Avok. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just, I'm just going to mention, I do have to go to bed soon, so yeah. maybe tackle the... M American Avok thing. first, then, and then we'll do oh, the... Oh, please, no, I have to go to bed as well. I am I just, uh, uh, God damn it. Uh, we'll just... Rip. 
I'm so sorry. Should we just With, pick this up another time? We'll we'll pick this up another time. Um, okay. And that's that's what we'll do the next things. Um, so we'll just we'll just say y'all do a bit of, of of shopping and investigating. Um. We'll, we'll I'll discuss the details with y'all in person. Um, for for stuff and then. Well, no, we'll just do another session at some point that's just minor and social and just pre-record it. That way I don't have to fucking do streams for a while. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I mean, it should be easier because it would only be, like, technically you'd only need to get the people involved in that environment. So you wouldn't need to yeah. get the entire group together. All right, sounds good. On that note, I'm going to stop recording. Thank you all for joining us for this pre-recorded session. Yeah. I'm I, sorry we didn't get to do more, but at the same time, we had fun doing D&D yeah. &D drugs. All right, yes. bye-bye. Yes. A lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Quick uh, toast. Bye, guys.